Kirindi Forest at Night During the day, it's very hot in this dry, deciduous forest in western Madagascar. Most animals here are nocturnal, including some species of chameleon and the mouse lemur. Vision is so important for us humans, so it is amazing to walk through the forest at night and to imagine how all these animals manage to get about, how they find food, or the next branch. Nine species of lemur live in Karindi Forest. Peter Kappeler of the German Primate Center at the University of Göttingen has been researching them for 20 years. Every morning, he and his team drive to Karindi Forest to gather data for their research on lemurs and for the red list. Almost all species of lemur are endangered. The team observe the animals, track their movements, and collect samples of their feces. This information helps them determine to what degree the different species are at risk. That's important for their entries in the red lists of the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Two items of information about any given species that go into the red lists are an estimate of how many individuals there are and how its populations have developed in recent years. A third item is the size of its remaining habitat. People are the biggest threat to the lemurs of Madagascar because they're cutting or burning down more and more of the forests in which the lemurs live. This patch of forest is still fine. Here, just a couple of kilometers away, it's been destroyed in just the past two years. Local people removed the trees so they could plant maize and peanuts, despite the fact that the soil is not very fertile at all. For conservationists, it's a depressing situation. The loss of forest means fewer and fewer lemurs. These researchers hardly ever spot Madame Bert's mouse lemur, the world's smallest primate. Madame Bert's mouse lemur can be found here, along with the grey mouse lemur. But it can only be found here in this forest. Its entire global presence is within these few square kilometers. That means Madame Bert's mouse lemur is incredibly hard hit when hundreds of hectares of forest are cleared here. That is a huge part of its remaining natural habitat. Of all the species of lemur, Madame Bert's mouse lemur is most at risk, so it tops the red list for lemurs. In the lab at their research station, lemur feces is analyzed. Behavioral ecologist and sociobiologist Dr. Claudia Fichtel measures levels of stress hormones. Raised levels indicate that life is tough for the animals. It's also an indicator that their health is compromised. Just as long-term stress affects the health of humans, it also affects the health of lemurs. And that, in turn, is important for their red list entries. It takes a lot of time to prepare data for the red list. The scientists here are doing that alongside their own research. But they say it's important to establish where each species figures in the various categories of threat. It's a useful indicator of the state of biodiversity. The red lists cover almost 83,000 plant and animal species worldwide. Close to a third of them are endangered. There are examples of species once close to extinction that have recovered. Peter Kappeler wants to make sure the lemurs of Kirindi Forest also stand a chance of surviving. <laughs>